Hello everyone. So in this part of the video, which will be about setting up the backend of the project, which I'll be using Strapi. So Strapi is actually a really commonly used headless CMS where it can be used just just so that you are able to connect your background back. I mean, just so, just so that you are able to connect your uh, project to a backend. So it act as a database but this database is like very easy for is easy, easier for anyone who doesn't uh, need uh, let's say let's say you are doing your project and you're giving it to a non-technical person so the next the non-technical person should be easily able to manage content from his side so you don't need to understand how does databases works so in that way a, a CMS is really will be helpful in this case in this kind of scenarios so that's the whole part of the second part of this particular tutorial is going to be. So I'll be connecting, I'll be using Strapi to connect to backend of the, to the front end. So all you have to do is to copy this particular code. And if I mean, first of all, you need to go to strapi.io. So that's the website link. And then just need to go to this particular, uh, their, their, their landing page, uh, hero image. And just need to click on this copy to clipboard and just go to your project uh, in your VS code what you can do here is that you can actually create a new uh, terminal by just by create clicking on this uh, panel like you, you can split the terminal into half like to have another terminal which can be used okay so this in this case we are actually inside the root folder which is block frontend react so this is where we're gonna paste the uh, the command which we have just copied so in, right now what we what is it's here as you, as you can see here this is npx then let's create a uh, strappy app latest and this is the my project is actually uh, is the title that you like to give to your folder of your backend but in this case i would like to rename it to uh, something that's more relevant in this case i will put strappy okay so just click on enter so what it does here it will be installing all the dependencies all the required files and formats that that should be uh, there just so that you are able to connect to your backend so we're just gonna let this app to run and of course we need to give some yes to uh, certain uh, questions and let's let it run and when, it, when it's asking this kind of question just give like a quick start with recommended uh, type because that's what's the most uh, best way to actually install just just enter just just choose quick start by the way okay so right now as you can see uh Shrappy has already been installed and yeah as you can see it's already been installed and what we can do here is that we can actually go to this particular link that says http local uh, 1337 admin and just need to double click on it and we can just, we just go to this particular link and currently you need to be filling in all of these details for example first name last name and your and so on so in this case i'll be filling up all of this all right so right now we have already entered the strappy's uh, cms itself so in this case what we can do here we need to set up some collections of uh, of data that we would like to have it in our database so in this case first as you can see there's three steps to get started so first of all we need to create go to content type builder and we can actually choose what kind of content are we going to create so in this case we can, we can just uh, skip the tour and as you can see here we can create new collection type rather than user so in this case since it's a block i would like to create display name uh, to be blog okay and in this case i'm just going to click on uh, continue so api id is scroll is blocks so just keep remember this and as you can see since we are doing a block it needs to have certain number of field to be used for example text in this case the first text we would like to have is the block title so block title is what definitely is going to be we'll be needing it all the time and next let's add another another more few more uh, content like rich text is for blog content so this is basically what we're going to do what we're going to show uh, once we click on the blog 
and also let's have other number of the titles we also happen to have the cover image so let's look for image as you can see there's this thing called media so multiple media or single media this is this one is the one that be more suitable because it's just a cover image so i would say cover image okay finish and let's add more fill uh, let's say date so this is published this is this is just to this is just like when exactly is your uh, blog has been published so these are the main this few sample i mean basic type of basic uh, comment uh, basic uh, content type that we would be needing to create a blog since we have a blog title we have a blog uh, when it, when it's published we also need some author that we can actually for example let's insert text i'm going to put who's the author of the of this particular uh, blog so in that case i think that should be enough just right and i think we can already click on save and currently it's waiting for restart and there you go you have your collection type blog already been created so right now what we can do right now is that can since this collection type has already been created we can go to content manager and we can start creating our blogs so let's create a new entry for example currently there's no entry here just create a new entry so the first block that i would like to we would like to do is how to uh, yeah just just i'm just gonna put how to code simple like that and this is how to code this and this one is like this is the content basically I would say open uh, yeah I'm just gonna say open your PC and the second I'm just gonna type some random stuff like and then type hello world something like this okay so this is the block content basically and let's add some images so in this case I'll be adding some uh, some just some simple random images like I just found it from my internet something like this okay upload one asset to library so some simple image like this click on uh, finish and today in today's date is obviously uh, today's date is uh, 28 so it's gonna make it like this an author is me it's gonna type my name okay and there you go this is just some simple some sample uh, block entry so it's going to click on save once you have clicked on save you also need to click on publish to actually publish your content so when we go back to blog as you can see there is a new entry has already been created which is how to code and this is the image the cover image basically and there you go so this that's the whole idea of this part of this uh, cms all you have to do is just need to create a content or you do just connect to a backend and create create a backend content something like this so that's it for this particular part of the video for, i mean particular part of the course so let's meet in the next episode till then bye